Hi guys. <laughs> that working? It's Chef McRadio. Um, kidding on. I am not a chef. Anything but a chef. I'm useless in the kitchen other than a few dishes. But that's the whole point in this video. Um, I thought I'd make a, a quick video demonstrating how easy it is to make a simple meal with lots of vegetables um, that taste nice and it doesn't matter if you're pretty useless in the kitchen because if I can do this, anyone can. So I thought I'd do it in real time to try and help make you realise how easy it is and how, how how quick it can be. So, in fact, I'll do it with warts and all, there'll be mistakes along the way. I'll probably end up with half the vegetables in the floor and stuff. Um, so, first things first, quickly get the pan on, oil, right? You can see why I couldn't do what Joe Wicks does. He makes it look all so glamorous and stuff uh, and uh, effortless. Anyway, right, so, first things first, top and tail of the carrots, right? See, I make this dish like all the time because it's such a good way to get in lots of vegetables. Um, so I just quickly cut off the top the top and bottom of the carrots and I put the carrots in the pan first because well they just they just take longer to when you're frying them. They just uh, they just seem to take a bit longer uh, to fry, I guess, because they're hard when there's obviously peppers and courgettes and stuff like that are a bit softer. So the carrots really if you're using carrots you don't have to use carrots it's a bit uh, it, it tends to be carrots that, that actually make this uh, a bit longer than it even needs to be so see if you're just using like the the onions and the peppers and all that it literally takes like five minutes okay uh, but with the carrots as i said with the carrots it takes a bit longer there you go there's the first um food victim on the floor there i'm actually doing better than usual so maybe it's uh, the camera has made me do, do better about chopping i don't know anyway right so hi right, so the, I, I just thought like there's so there's so much focus um, I think on calories and all that uh, and I just don't think there's enough focus on quality food. See if you're really serious about changing your lifestyle and becoming healthier, like you need to accept that you need to start eating. Now I know I'm probably preaching to the converted here. Like this this is a video I could put this on my main page as well. Uh, like you need to accept that you need to start eating some healthy, nutritious foods, uh, mainly vegetables. That's probably the the the, the main one. So. So there you go, there's all these, look at that, oh, that's quite good isn't it? <laughs> so I've just thinly chopped the, thinly chopped the carrots, right? Uh, and then uh, essentially, while, while they're, hold on, I need one of those things, spatulas. Uh, while they're doing their thing, right, while they're cooking, while they're frying, you can, you can chop up the other veg, basically. So there's an onion, right, so, so it's the same thing, I just say, I know this video might be quite boring because um, all I'm doing technically is chopping vegetables <laughs> but it's because I thought I'd do it because a lot of time people tend to say that cooking is time consuming um, but end of the day like time's time so everything depend, well, no matter what you do it's, it, 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 it takes a certain duration uh, so in, in other words it all depends on what you consider more of a priority, um, whether that be sitting down with an extra cup of tea after a long day at work, or standing up for an extra 10 to 15 minutes to make a quick veg stir fry. Um, and it's all these things that kind of um, have to be considered in terms of what you prioritise. Okay, so if you, if you think that cooking uh, is time consuming, it can be, but it doesn't have to be. Obviously, if you're going to make a nice big fancy dish, it, it, it can take ages, but if you're just wanting quick and nutritious food, it doesn't have to be time consuming. Um, and also, you know, see, you see what I mean with my chopping skills, it's not the best thing, I'm just kind of like, I don't even know what you describe that as, squashing the onion, but because I'm using a knife, it's kind of cutting them, right? <laughs> um, but, like, it, it, if you're wanting to be healthy, then more more uh, more priority should be given to cooking some meals. You know, I think that's that's one of the main things uh, you need to try and accept. It doesn't mean that every meal has to be cooked from scratch. That's not what I'm saying at all. Um, I just mean though that um, it, it it can make a significant difference to your daily diet if you, for example, can cook one meal. A day that contains a lot of vegetables. So see with the courgettes here, I just did the same thing. So this is I'm just obviously most folk watching this will be more uh, competent in this than me, but I'm I, I, I'm maybe maybe reaching out to those that are just as 
uh, well, incompetent as me in the kitchen. So, uh, the courgette, so this might seem a bit obvious, but I'm just kind of slicing it into different bits, right? Um, because if you slice it lengthways like that, it just means that when you then put it together and you chop it sideways, you're, it just saves you time. That precious thing that folk often complain about not having enough time to cook, well, you try to think of ways to save time. Uh, and that is, that will save you 20 seconds, um, which maybe gives you an extra 20 seconds to do something else that you think is more important than your health. <laughs> right? Uh, so then the courgettes go in. So, so far, we're at three portions of vegetables. Why is that significant? Well, because the recommended daily amount of fruit and veg is five per day, which Let's be honest, isn't that much, really. But again, it probably sounds a lot if you don't eat any fruit and veg. And that's, so it's all about context. This is all about context. Um, the same way walking 10,000 steps a day, if you don't walk any steps, or very few, it will seem like a lot. But if you already walk 10,000 steps a day, then that's just your norm. Uh, so contextually, it doesn't seem like a lot. So as I said, it's all about context. Five fruit and veg a day, in my opinion, because I eat, five vegetables a day, every day. It doesn't sound like a lot, but I understand to some folk it might sound like more than that, or it might sound like a lot. So anyway, same with the peppers, I'm just cutting them in thin strips lengthways. Pretty lamely. As uh, as an old chef, I, I used to work as a kitchen porter years ago, and uh, I remember chopping some vegetables once. A bit like this actually, like badly. And the head chef, when I gave him the vegetables, he said, Pat, what the hell have you cut the vegetables with? A toothbrush. Uh, I think it was a toothbrush or a hair comb or something. Uh, he was obviously not impressed. And I kind of know what he means by looking at this. But anyway, <laughs> it's still, it doesn't matter how you chop it, it's still going to retain its nutrients <laughs> and its taste. So, do you know what I mean? Anyway, so there's the, pot, there's the, the peppers. Uh, I'm, I'm, brushing them nicely with a sharp knife, which is allowing them to slice <laughs> into wee strips. Right? Uh, so they're peppers. So we're nearly there, aren't we? Uh, so you just, I think the good thing is you just keep stirring it through and um, it'll cook, it'll cook, it'll cook, it'll cook, cooking up. So, Aye, so that's it. We've got four already. Hold on, I'll quickly check for a fifth, actually. See what, aye, so. Uh, so actually, we can, actually we can have six, because I've just forgot that we've got wee broccoli stems here. So you don't actually need all these. Right? The beauty of everything I've just put in, right, the, like the peppers, the carrots, uh, the onions and the courgettes, is that they're really cheap. Okay, so anyone that argues that vegetables are expensive, again, either isn't shopping in the right places, or hasn't got, doesn't consider or prioritise uh, what they eat and the cost they put to it as, as a sort of relevant or imp more important thing compared to maybe their phone um, or Sky TV or, or things like that because it's really not that expensive. Like all, all this vegetable, for all these vegetables, I mean for the whole bag of each, it's like less than a pound per bag. Um, so it's, apart from maybe the peppers, I think they were one for or something. But, it depends where you buy them. If you go to Al Aldi's and Lidl's, seem to have them quite cheap um, compared to your sort of posher places. <laughs> you know, like uh, Waco's or whatever. Uh, but ultimately, like, the stuff in Aldi's and Lidl's is, I would say, it seems to be cheaper and it's definitely good quality. Um, so, anyway. So there you go, there's, there's five veg in there. So, there's frozen peas that I'll add in at the end. That'll take it up to six. So see to make it tasty, right? Oh, I've got nothing in here. I've forgotten where I'm looking. Yeah, see to make it tasty, I would just add in as another, another drawer. I think I use soy sauce or sweet chili sauce, or you could use spices like Cajun spice and just literally just put it on, like put it over the thing, the the, the, the vegetables, and and, and just uh, toss it through. Then to to make it more into a natural meal, because that's just your veg base. If you want to add in like some sort of protein source and you can just dice up some chicken which is what I'm going to do in a second um, or if you're a 
vegetarian or something, you could add tofu, I guess. Um, or various beans, like so kidney beans, um, for, well, I don't know how that would go with that, mind you, but you could add various things to it. Um, and then for a quality carb source, which I like to add in to these sort of meals, especially after some sort of a training session, I, I, this is my strategy, right? I use something like that, uh, flavoured rice. Now, because it's flavoured and it's a packet, it's a bit more expensive. So I usually add in one of them because it, the, the, the taste of it permeates through the whole pot and then just add in wild rice, um, like more of that, and that bulks it out. Uh, and then suddenly you've got like a proper big meal. So I tend to use two dishes uh, with all this. As I add sweet chilli and soy sauce and some Cajun or, sorry, Chinese chicken, fried spice, whatever. That's a great dish. Or alternatively, I add in tomato passata, so a carton of tomato passata. And then, then I add in one of these, ricotta cheese or mascarpone cheese. Obviously, mascarpone is a bit richer, so it's a bit higher in fat, but as I say, it's not necessarily that important because unless you're putting in the entire tub, it's, it, 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 that's going to feed like five people or something. It's not going to, it's not going to have any negative effect. So I would, I, I would put in one of those two alongside the tomato passata, and it really gives it a, a good, nice, well, nice taste. It tastes good, basically. Um, aye, so that is it. That, that is it. I mean. That will be ready in a, like a couple of minutes. In fact, it's pretty much ready. A couple more minutes, then you just add. Obviously, if you're going to use rice, you're going to have to cook that, and it's going to take longer. But my point, if, you, if you're in a real rush, you just use the quick cook stuff. And then, anyway, that, that, the idea is that you can have that ready, and then just add the rice later, if you're having it later on. Okay, so that's it. Back and do it. If there's juices in the kitchen, then you can do it. You can make it a seven veg. There's mushrooms. I forgot I took mushrooms out. There's mushrooms. You can add in mushrooms, that would be seven vegetables in one meal. You've absolutely smashed your five a day without even touching another meal or a snack or nothing. Then you've got an apple and a banana, and you're at nine already, so it's easy, right? Anyway, I hope this um, motivates the more um, inept cooks amongst you, such as me, <laughs> um, and those that think there's not enough time for it, or that it's too costly, or that, that there is. If you prioritise your health more, there's no reason why you can't do that. Don't catch yourself on. Right, guys, the final bit. Peas. Right, so we've, I paused the video there a wee bit further along now. Another five minutes, the chicken was fried. Put the tomato in, the tomato passata. <coughs> Thrown in the peas. There's the mascarpone, right? I I decided to go I I've decided to go with the tomato and mascarpone one, and then see if you just uh, hold on I'll pause it there so that's it stirred delicious eh <laughs> all waiting on the rice that will get added there and then you got an absolute quality dish that could feed like four adults or something like that um, obviously there's salt in there as well there hope that helps because I'm useless so if I can do that you can. <laughs>